This is the weekly tarot reading for September 19th through the 23rd, 2016. So first I want to mention that we have Mercury retrograde ending on the 22nd, Thursday the 22nd this week. And that coincides with the Mabin Sabbath. Um, the autumn equinox. So that's like a major energy shift that we have going on this week. Um, which is, I would say, an energy shift for the better because I just do not like Mercury retrogrades at all. However, I am a Gemini and... Mercury is like my ruling planet. So I tend to think that they affect me worse or, or more worse than other people. But that's beside the point. Um, Mercury retrograde ending is going to be good for everyone because we're going to start to see more progress in those areas of communication um, business, travel, um, things like that, okay, and, um, also with the autumn equinox Sabbath, that energy shift brings, um, more of like a harvest energy so more energy of results and reward and things like that to what we've been working on um, this entire previous year okay so that said, let's see what the cards have to say. Now I align myself with the Most High God and the Holy Spirit, Hecate. Please communicate the truth to me through these cards so that I may be guided for the highest good of all. I thank you. And some other things. Please give us your divine guidance. Please give us your divine guidance for this week. So that we may use it for our highest good, our greatest joy and success. Thank you and so much be. Alright you guys, let's see what we have for this week. So, first of all, we have Fortitude. In other decks, this is called the Strength card. So just to give you all, this one doesn't come up often in past readings. So just to show y'all what it looks like in this deck with more detail. Okay. But this, what this card represents is, uh, well, it's pretty summarized with the fortitude name in this deck. But what it represents is empowerment. It represents your internal strength, your willpower, your um, emotional power, and balance. Um, it represents harmony. 
through your willpower, through your own personal actions that you take, you can um, achieve balance and overcome obstacles, enemies, um, you can achieve your goals, you can achieve success through the power of your will and really through the power of love in union with your will, okay? Because this card represents the, the powers, basically the woman represents the powers of the higher uh, divine love and the lion represents the carnal nature, okay? The animalistic nature of people. And then the higher mind, the spirit, the divinity within, okay? And she's taming the lion. So uh, what that means is that by using your divine spirit, and your willpower from that, you can then master your own self and achieve your goals. And not only that, but you can also master others and uh, bring victory, like I said, over opponents, over enemies, um, opposition. And things like that. So. That's the energy that we're going into this week with. Let's see what the rest of the cards say. Before I kind of really. Get the whole meaning of this. Uh, spread. Next we have. The page of coins. Or the maiden of coins in this deck. I meant not coins. Uh, blades. Sorry. And um. This card is about new information coming in, okay? So, some sort of information is going to be coming into us. It could be from another person. It could be from uh, just ideas, inspirations, thoughts that we have within ourselves um, that brings kind of, not necessarily guidance, but it it just it, it just brings more information that helps us make a decision or a choice or it just brings information that helps us uh, to plan more for whatever we're working towards okay now this card also carries a warning to protect your privacy because this messenger uh, that the Page of Swords is can also mean gossip and uh, like rumors and things like that being spread about you, okay? So it's important to protect your privacy this week at the same time. Now this, I don't think this is going to apply to everyone, but for some of us, it will be important to protect privacy and kind of don't volunteer information about your private life to others, okay? Keep things um, private that, that really are for your best interest to remain private, okay? Don't just be talking about your goals with people that you know are not um, aligned with supporting you or people that you aren't sure whether they support you or not, don't really talk about your goals with people like that, okay? Only talk about your goals with people who, know, who you know support you. Um, I'm kind of getting that warning for some people. But once again, for others, you will just be getting more information in this week for um, better planning for yourself and for your goals, okay? Which, actually, that makes sense with the fact that Mercury Retrograde is ending. So, for the final card, we have the Nine of Coins. Also, the Nine of Pentacles, whatever you want to call this suit or whatever. But, this card is about 
attaining a new level of independence. Um, excuse me. Attaining a new level of independence when it comes to your own sustainability, your finances, um, your physical security, okay? It could also mean in your health, you're gaining a new, um, not a new, but you're gaining a better position when it comes to your health, okay? So some of us will be getting um, just more healthy. And now that applies not just to your physical health, but also to like your mental health, your emotional health, uh, your spiritual health and well-being, okay? So on all levels, or different levels for, for the different people who partake of these readings, there is an energy shift for the better with that, okay? And this card also represents fulfillment. So I can see that some of us will be achieving goals by the end of this week, okay? Now when I put this all together... I do see that there is a warning this week when it comes to these two cards here um, because this one was about not only mastering yourself but mastering others through the power of love and your own divine spirit and then this card carried the warning of protecting your privacy and um, things like that from others. So some of you may have hidden enemies that you aren't aware of. Or they could be open enemies um, that maybe want to try to prevent your success and reaching your goals. So just take advice of the warnings from this reading. Be careful who you uh, talk about your goals with, okay? Um, it's like a post I made on Facebook. I'm sorry, it's like a post I saw on Facebook and then I reposted it where it says um, not everyone is your friend. Some people are just fun to be around. Okay, so take that as you will. But uh, just be aware and be extra cautious and mindful of the sensitivity of your goals and plans, okay? Because some people may try to sabotage it and sabotage you. Now, for some of us, we can overcome that um, by approaching the situation, the person, um, with a higher compassion and love and stuff like that. Now, once again, as, as in my past readings, um, that doesn't always work. So use your own discernment, of course, um, and what your intuition is telling you and stuff. But in some situations, for some of the people watching this video, you can overcome these situations uh, and these conflicts. This could have to do with the fact that Mercury is in retrograde in the way that uh, usually creates misunderstandings, miscommunications, and stuff like that. So also be mindful that some of this could be because of the Mercury retrograde and not just because someone's out to sabotage you intentionally. So either way, be protective of yourself and cautious of it this week, okay? But then once again, there is a positive message with uh, this reading too, just about mastering your own self and how that can help you achieve your goals. There's new information coming into you this week that can help you attain your goals. And by the end of the week, it does look like you attain certain goals, okay? Maybe not uh, like you may not be at the end result, but you will achieve by the end of this week a major stepping stone to your goals, okay? Because... It looks like it really has to do with some sort of self-reliance and, uh, what is the word? It's just like independence, okay? There's some sort of 
energy shift by the end of this week where you really take the what is the word I'm looking for I'm sorry you guys um Things just get established for you, okay? I'm sorry, I can't think of the precise word I'm looking for. Maybe it will come into you guys' minds. But, uh, it's just a really good energy where things become stabilized through your own actions, okay? And through your own self. And that's the energy for this week. So I hope you guys uh, received a message from this. I hope it helps you going forward into this week, um, and I hope that you do see some good and positive results after this pretty uh, pretty difficult year so far for a lot of people. I think that you all deserve the rewards and the results of the hard work that you've put in. I know uh, that a lot of people, including myself, has has been through a lot this year. Um, but it has really strengthened us, okay? So, this week seems like it's really... The energy that I'm feeling is that this is kind of the first week of really starting to see the results, okay? Which makes perfect sense with the autumn equinox being on Thursday. So, once again, I hope this reading helps you. I hope that you have a great week. I hope that you protect yourself from any kind of negative influence from others. And I hope that you reach some goals and get some of these stepping stones to your goals accomplished. Blessed be.